Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at an iPhone that I truly didn't like too long ago, but I actually do like quite a bit now, which is very strange. Things like this happen all the time in technology, and it usually doesn't really change the fact of what this phone used to be, and we're basically talking about the iPhone XS. Now, exactly what I'm talking about is back in 2018 when this iPhone first came out, this was a very, very weird iPhone. You know, it didn't really, I didn't really think it brought a lot to the table. It was actually one of the last iPhones to have, you know, a certain amount of features that we used to like. But the biggest thing that I kind of remember with this specific iPhone was the fact that it looked exactly the same as its direct six, you know, predecessor, which was the iPhone 10. So for a lot of people, including myself, we didn't really think this iPhone was going to be that great. But I will tell you, in this this specific year in 2023, this iPhone has actually grown a lot and I still think actually now, much like how I felt towards the end of last year, that this is an amazing iPhone to pick up and if you're in the market of actually picking up an iPhone, I don't think you can go that wrong by you know, picking up an iPhone like this. Now the first thing I will definitely tell you is this isn't the first iPhone I would recommend buying, but for its price tag, I mean, it's actually pretty insane. You can buy these things for like around two, I mean, probably even less than $200 now from a lot of places, but easily less than $300 in a ton of places out there. And that is a massive thing to keep in mind. This is not an iPhone you're going to spend a bunch of money on. This is an iPhone you're going to spend maybe a couple hundred dollars on, and you're still going to be getting an iPhone with a beautiful display. In fact, the display of this thing really isn't that far off from even like an iPhone 14. Yeah, it doesn't get as bright, but it's not like it's like apples and oranges here. I mean, it's like very, very close to that type of display. On top of that, with something like an iPhone XS, this is an iPhone that is still very fast and it's still getting supported with software. So much so, in fact, I think this iPhone is probably still going to be getting software updates probably until like 2024, 2025. If Apple does the exact same thing that they've been doing with a lot of the iPhone S series, the 5S and the 6S, these iPhones could end up lasting a much longer period of time than even us and than even we would even expect, which is actually pretty insane. Now, the camera side is the one thing where I look at this phone, maybe it could have been a little bit better. This was the first time we saw, you know, 1080p at 60 on the front. So that was a really cool thing to actually see here. But it's still an iPhone that came out in 2018. We've had many advancements in the cameras. It is missing an ultrawide camera as well, which isn't always the best thing. But I still think this is a very good iPhone in that standpoint, in the camera standpoint, because Apple did such a good job with the optimizations of that camera during that time. So I think that's another massive thing to keep in mind as well. So I think when it comes down to the iPhone XS, this is still a very, very good phone to pick up. It, would, it wouldn't be the first iPhone I'd recommend picking up before a budget tier device, kind of. This is a very solid device. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.